my life on the X list. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, the Diva X, and it is Saturday, November 30th, 2013. Um, and actually, tomorrow is a very important day, World AIDS Day. There's my ribbon. Um, and I wanted to come on here and make a little video like I normally do on a Saturday. But, um, so yeah, I'm wearing my red ribbon. Um, you guys will see more of the red ribbon later, um, at a later date and time. Um, maybe tomorrow, who knows? Um, it is World AIDS Day. For those of you who don't know, uh, World AIDS Day is the day that we celebrate, um, life, um, and those life lost to the HIV AIDS, um, virus. And so, um, yeah, it's, uh, very powerful statements and, um, I hope that you all go out and get tested and know your status and do what you got to do um, in order to maintain whatever status it is that you live with. Um, making good decisions, um, safer sex, less risky sex, whatever the case may be, um, you know, using condoms, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't want to give too much here because that's not what you came here for but I do want to encourage you guys to at least go out and get tested and at least know in your status because that is step one um, to preventing it and if you get a positive status to maintain your health and if you get a negative status to maintain that negative status so enough of that um, not that it's not important just not what you're here for um, I oh this past week we went I went out to uh, Tamar to see Tamar Braxton okay so let's get to the nitty gritty the tickets were to see John Legend and Tamar the opening Tamar Braxton I honestly was only there to see, I like John Legend I like um, his singles that he's put out I own his albums I do own I believe three of his albums um, and I like those. I like the albums. I just can't watch him in concert. <laughs> um, I I I wasn't. I wasn't. I don't know. I just. I I never. I really never really connected with a male artist in that way. I just not interested. Not here for it. However, who I did go see was Tamar Braxton, and she did that. Okay. I was a little concerned because I had seen some of her videos pre uh, this show, and some of them were a little shaky, and, and maybe I was just looking at the wrong ones, but some of them were a little shaky, and I was thinking, OMG, what's going to happen? hope she does it. I hope she turns it. And I was expecting, you know, a notes, a two notes to be not so great, but she did that. She did all the notes well. She sang well. She performed. She knew her marks. She did that. Um, so uh, we had had a wonderful good time. I had a wonderful good time. Um, we, I was turned up. Okay. Um, we were walking. We were within walking distance. We stood within walking dis distance of the venue, the Paramount Theater, and uh, we got a little turned up before we went to the concert. Um, and actually, on the way to the concert, um, and I just remember I was about three blocks to the Paramount. I can see the Paramount on a distance, and I was just like, "Whoever's in charge needs to be in charge of me because." I am to a point where I cannot make responsible decisions for myself. Um, I was with them with good company, so therefore I, it wasn't like it was a horrible thing. Um, so that was uh, that was excellent. I was well taken care of. No one was going to let anything happen to me. Um, so we get to the venue and we get there just in time. Really, we sit down and about ten minutes later she goes on. Uh, we kind of planned that um, because. I get we were there just to see her. And normally I usually like to skip the openings, but tonight, or that night, it was on Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, by the way, um, I was just like, oh, that's a rough one. It's a rough day to pick for anybody, really. Um, but yeah, we went, and it was me, Jeff, Frank, and um, Nadia, for those of you who care. Um, there's been videos of us, uh, of them, twerking like uh, crazy people up and down um, Broadway in Oakland, which... Serious, darling. You want to see the aesthetic? <laughs> so you want to see the aesthetic? Uh oh, she's twerking. Twerk, 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 twerk. Uh oh, uh oh. You want to see the So wait a minute, no, no. You got it all wrong, girl. Where's that music coming from? It's from where it comes from. But someone didn't bring their ID. Oh, she's. Oh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> the things she would do for some jewelry, girl. That's not even a jewelry, that's a college tuition place. My mama taught me that move. What's that called? The get your, get your rent paid move. Get that, no, it's called get that child support. Fun place over there, the dungeon. Ooh. Oh, oh, don't crack your head, please. We don't do hospital business. <laughs> she had a lay merger on a twerk pole. I don't I don't want to drag bodies home. Okay. Not in my car. If I could just jump up there. This fucking got me off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me give me. A boost. Get it. Got it. Get it. Get it. She was what? 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 <laughs> She's doing it. Go fall, girl. <laughs> She's a street dancer now. Add that to your resume. My baby taught me everything I know. <laughs> She's a street fall. She's a street walker, lady of the night. Dang. Jeez. She's a hooker. Girl, you're wasting my 15 seconds. That's all I can give you. That's all you can give me. Oh, 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 oh. Don't mind me, I'm just twerking. Oh, that's good. I love it. You love twerking? By the way, it's super clean at night. I was super impressed by just the full on like cleansiness, 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 cleanse, how clean it was. I don't know how to say that. Um, yeah, whatever. And yeah, so um, I one thing I've been forgetting to mention is the meditation. Um, I've been doing the meditation and I feel like it's helping me get through what I'm going through right now, um, which it always seems to do. Um, one of the things that uh, it was one of the earlier ones that I just kind of held on to and I haven't really let it go is the effort that we put forth in achieving things um, because it talked about how a flower just is a flower it just grows and it just is and it is a flower effortlessly and the things that um we do in our life how much effort or or um uh, how much we go out our way to achieve things um, when things that are in line with what it is that we're supposed to be doing should just come effortlessly, meaning it shouldn't be a huge struggle. It shouldn't be, yeah, there's work to do, but it shouldn't be something that we're constantly fighting for or constantly, uh, you know, defending or making it harder than it is. Um, you know, uh, I feel like a lot of times that I find myself in that position, um, trying to uh, fight for things that don't really need to be fighting for or fought and for. Uh, fought, I mean, hear me, hear me making them my own words, um, but I feel like that's something um, that um, I do. <laughs> I do. I did. I have done. Um, and I feel like something that is supposed to happen should just come effortlessly and I feel like sometimes I don't allow that to happen effortlessly and it's, it's always a struggle um but on the flip side I'm still I'm still in in conflict with that because then I feel if I don't fight for it then it never happens and it never is something that takes place because no one else is fighting for it um which should speak <laughs> to to what you know those moments but <sighs> I don't know. I, I, I'm conflicted within that. So um, it's just a thought process I have going on in my brain. And it's something that I do think about regularly since I've heard it. Um, but yeah, overall, it's been really good. Um, I It's longer. <laughs> That's one of the things that I, I, I do apologize for. I didn't know it was going to be longer. Um, the meditation moments are a little bit longer or a about five minutes longer than they were the first time. Um, and that seems like to me, that's kind of like, okay, 
I just had to get used to it because I feel like even the 15 minutes was a stretch for me, um, to be able to sit and do nothing. Um, but it really, but it, it, that in itself is its own thing because it's also that patience. It's teaching you that patience, um, not to be in a hurry, you know, to again, the effortless, um, to experience what's happening and I get it. Um, but it was, it, it is been coming like the thing for me that's kind of like, oh, it's 20 minutes, like versus 15. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting how that works out. But, um, yeah. Um, so overall, other than that, I've been well, I've been, um, just kind of going forth with, um, a special project, which, um, you guys will probably shortly see soon, hopefully. And um, just kind of doing me and as much as I can and, you know, staying, staying present in the moment, experiencing life um, for life, not being distracted. That's one of the other things, one of the other uh, mantras was just being present, not being here in this all the time. And that is one of the things that I am working on um, is not being all up in the, in the, in the text or the iPad or the anything else other than what's going on at that present moment, especially when it needs attention. Um, because I feel like that's the culture we live in. And I feel like when I'm with people who are constantly on their phone, I find myself getting annoyed. So I can imagine how that feels, especially when I'm taking my time to come and visit you or to spend time with you and you're constantly wrapped up in this. I feel like I want to get your phone and throw it through the television. Um, and that is, I'm, I'm, I feel like, um, even, well, actually, and let's be, to be honest, it's not even just about the phone. It's just about not getting the attention that I feel I deserve. And me again, saying that I know that I don't give the attention that I feel other people deserve or that I'm sure other people feel they deserve. Um, example would be, I went to my aunt's house, uh, Friday during the day and, um, her house is pretty much a madhouse. Um, she has, um, you know, she has kids and she has, um, her phones ringing off the hook. Um, she, my uncle's out putting Christmas lights on. Um, she's organizing her Tupperware. It's, and it's just, she has dogs and it's just constant chaos. To me, I'm going to categorize it as chaos. It's just constant chaos where I just felt so overwhelmed. Um, not that I wanted to like freak out or anything, but I was just trying to like, you know, I go and visit and have those moments to connect. And then I feel like I couldn't connect. I feel like, um, there was just the whole, it defeated the purpose of actually going to visit, um, because I didn't feel like I got the visit or what I wanted to get out of the visit. Um, and that's me having those expectations and intentions of what I was going over there for. And it really wasn't nothing important. It was just to be able to sit and talk and, and experience and have time um, because I do like to take time to visit family and connect with them in that way um, and I feel like I didn't get that moment um, but again that's me also like I, I, I consciously ex got that I consciously picked that up um, and and was just how uh, frazzled not frazzled yeah frazzled I kind of was getting like <sighs> Like, what's going on here? It's like a madhouse. Um, but, um, that's people's lives. <laughs> um, but I, for me, what I'm again trying to do is consciously not have that madness and not be part of that madness or, you know, staying away from the madness, um, as much as I can because, uh, it's important to be present. I know that. And I've tried to do better and I've tried to, you know, it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. Um, but it, it, it's something again that I'm working on, working towards. Um, so we'll see. And hopefully the results will, you know, will be better, but I don't know. We'll see people. Hopefully things will change and that will happen for myself. Um, but if not, then, um, I, at least I tried, right? No, it will. So, putting the phone down. And <laughs> speaking of which, I had it in my hand, but I wasn't really using it. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll, yeah, okay. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.